What about me? You didn't smell anything. I'm in the same studio with you, but which you Evan is not. Yeah, but you didn't, you know what I mean? I mean, we've known each other long enough. I don't like that kind of humor at all. Now, it doesn't it mean, wasn't you, can, humor doesn't mean yeah. you can't do I'm it. I'm honest. Obviously, if you if you want to do it, you no, can do it. it. If I that's was your laughing cup of tea. And, if that's yeah. your cup of tea, it's your cup no, of tea. Please. And all I can do is say, yeah. I am the silent but not, deadly guy, not, but yeah, I would never I, do I, that. That's, I would leave the studio. That's, that's a Ooh, sophomore. About three career farts in my 12 years on air. As you put on your glasses. Oh, boy. Some 49er fans just don't get it. No, you were, you said it. I, 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 I get here's it, the thing. Like, and I, I'll tell you what, 49 <laughs> small percentage of 49er fans. I'll tell you what, I'll do I'll do your part. In other words, yeah. I'll pre- I'll present uh the devil's advocate, and then because apparently all you can respond to is, well, that's dumb, I'll respond the You're way you should that. have responded. You ain't getting that, are you? These people And would you you were highlighting Listen, experience. Here's the bottom line. Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. How about this idea? <laughs> See, this is the way I think. Patrick Mahomes is 14 and 3 in the postseason. All right. God. Brock Purdy is 5 and 2 or whatever. But Brock, okay, Brock Purdy's playing in his first Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes is 14 and 3 in the postseason. Playing in another Super Bowl. I think there's a ch- you know, I actually think there's a there's a chance that. Because it's Purdy's first Super Bowl. Oh, my gosh. He's going to be so locked in that he will be just dialed in to everything. He'll be dialed into what he needs to keep an eye out for, and he'll be in tune with it, and he'll the ball will be coming out perfect, and he'll be putting it on the numbers mm-hmm. and everything. And you know what? I think there's Patrick Mahomes, you think he's going to play in more playoff games? When you're 14 and three in the playoffs, it's the closest thing to a regular season game. Like Patrick Mahomes is playing the closest thing to a su- to a regular season game that a Super Bowl quarterback can play. He's been there all the time. He's been to six straight AFC championship games. He's been to four of the last five Super Bowls. What about the idea that you know what? Patrick Mahomes might be maybe he comes out a little too casual. Because he's played in a million playoff games. And he'll probably play in a million more playoff games. So maybe Patrick Mahomes treats this more like a regular season game. And you know what? Maybe it's just not quite good enough because he needed to raise his level of play. But he's played so many playoff games that it's less of a monster big game for him. I don't know who's arguing that because it just sounds like I am. You're, you're, you're I think it's very possible. You, I think when you look at a guy like Shasky was telling me, you know how many playoff games Derek Jeter played? Like over a whole season, like 100, 200 playoff games. Scotty, like the more playoff games you play, but I'm doesn't necessarily you, mean you raise yeah, your level. I'm every agreeing play, with that. Who's experience. arguing that? Like D- Mahomes, you're right, and that it sounds right. like he might R E L A X. Like maybe he ain't phased, and maybe. that's what scares me. I'm asking maybe you- Patrick Mahomes in the, in the two games that the Chiefs just won. Yeah, he was he was okay. Was he great? Was Patrick Mahomes great? No, he was good enough. Good enough. Or you can well, make maybe, a case against maybe, that Baltimore in the first half. He, okay. he made some and he then maybe plays. maybe he comes out against the Niners and he's good enough. No doubt, but it's not good enough because. He didn't raise his level of play. He played quarterback the same way he kind of did against the the Ravens and a kind of the way he did against the Bills, and you got to play better than that against the 49ers. Yeah, but Stoudy, all I'm saying to that is there's more than just – this game is going to be decided by more than just Mahomes. He's the most important player, yeah. though, right? Yeah. So is Bur- Purdy to his team. I think Mahomes is more important to the Chiefs than Purdy is to the Niners. That's interesting. Like, I mean, like I, – I think Purdy can be solid – and the 49ers can win the game. I think Mahomes has to be better than solid mm. for the Chiefs to win the game. Mm. 49ers are, you, we've, they're a better team. I thought we've all agreed on yeah, that. Yeah, they got a better offense. But okay. again, well, it's, then it, Purdy doesn't have to no, but it's, do it, it as much. He doesn't have to do it. We're much talking Mahomes. about Jordan, Stoney. We're Who? talking uh, Mahomes. We're talking about he can make regulars into something. And he did that in Baltimore with an offense that looked like they weren't going anywhere. And all of a sudden, the receivers are catching the ball. He's been here before. Brock Purdy hasn't. 
So I would give, it sounds like to me what, what you came out with in the, to start the show, I agree. The experience advantage at the quarterback position, is, it's like not even close. Yeah. And that's what makes this like, but it's more than My point is, though, that, that going into the game, this game is, I, can, I can come up with a reason to say, I think Brock Purdy's going to be locked in. Well, he's been locked in 14 of the 17 playoff games that you said he won. He's 14 and 3. And two of I'm talking about Super Bowl. Purdy. Like I can, oh, I can actually see Purdy right. locked in. Well, the Niners, I believe they can't win if he's not locked in. Let's go to uh, let's go to Mark in Idaho. What's up, Mark? How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How about you guys? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, doing well. I feel I just good. Glad to hear it, guys. Uh, so you're in Las Vegas right now, huh? How's the weather? Uh, we're leaving after the show today, uh, Mark, actually. Even after the show. Well, have a good time. Thank you. Uh, good luck to you guys. You're welcome. Uh, my thought on the game, uh, and I think the key to the game, as a lot of people have said, is that they get off to a, a good start mm. and get ahead and not have to play from behind. Um, and also the defense, I think this is what they've brought all these guys in for. And I, I'm really confident that Wilkes has got something up his sleeve and uh, going to bring a little extra pressure and some stuff that they haven't seen before. And all those Hargrave and Chase and Chase Young and all those guys are going to come up big on Sunday. So uh, those are my thoughts on the game. Love to hear your opinions on those. You guys have fun and go Niners. Appreciate the call, Mark. Appreciate the call. It's imperative that they they get off duh to a good start, Stoney, because they they had seven points in the two last home playoff games against you know I want to say lesser teams against Detroit and Green Bay. That formula I don't believe you will survive against this version of the Kansas City Chiefs uh, at this stage, which is win or go home. So obviously you want to they're not going to quit if they don't get off to a good start. But, Stani, you don't want to be down 10. And then, you know, Kansas City, knowing that you got to be more aggressive or whatnot. But this is why you play the games, because we could talk for eight hours about what it could have, should have. But there's so many things that are going to go into, you know, the winning team uh, getting it done. If the 49ers would have lost to the Lions, I would have blamed their defense. Oh, I'm, nobody else. I think you were correct. Okay. So... The other thing with Brock Purdy is if like if Brock if the 49ers get down 21-6 and Brock Purdy's forced to play like he played last yeah. week, 2 weeks ago and the week before. If the game dictates that Purdy's forced to play like he had to play in the second half of the first two games, then I think there's a chance he's probably going to throw an interception. And make a mistake, and you're going to lose that game. Mm. But if that's the way you lose the game, that will, to me, have nothing to do with Brock Purdy. Because you can't ask, you, you can barely ask Brady, Mahomes, or Joe Montana to come back from a, from a deficit in a Super Bowl. You can't ask a second-year quarterback to do it three games in a row. I mean, that, that, like, that's the thing. I'm, I'm envisioning the 49ers losing either the first two playoff games and I wouldn't have – Brock Purdy would have been like sixth on my list of of problems because once a, to me, once you get down two scores against a good team, then you're asking for trouble. Yeah. Then, you, that be, Green Bay then game, you better he, factor he in a couple mistakes. Yeah, he would have been higher than six on that Green Bay game because that wasn't his best game. He drove them down, Stoney, but he would have been higher than six on my list. Okay. Yeah. Kerry in Arizona. What's up, Kerry? How you doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Yeah, uh, yeah. just a couple points um, why I believe the Niners are going to win. And it's not about the ifs of what's going to happen. I mean, we, of course, you guys have airtime to film that you got to put the conjecture in. But it's what's been. The Niners are a better team than Kansas City. They've shown it all year. Um, and they had the point differential. Brock Purdy has had a better year than Mahomes. And Brock Purdy in the playoffs, he did better than Mahomes coming back from down 17. So I just think the Niners have had a better year. They're a better team. But more important than anything are the intangibles. And the intangibles are motivation. I think the 49ers are going to be more motivated than Kansas City. Kansas City won it last year. Kansas City beat the Niners four years ago. 
I don't think those 10 players who were on that team four years ago are going to let this happen. Uh, they want to win it for Shanahan. The motivation is going to get them over the hump. Okay, that's so, the big thing. To, so, Carrie, to win. so, Carrie, it's a little different spin on when I look at Patrick Mahomes, I see a guy who's won Super Bowls, won 14 out of 17 playoff games. And you're saying, you know what? When you win that much, you might not be as motivated as Brock Purdy and the Niners who haven't won it before. Exactly. Okay. I'm I'm not disagreeing exactly. with that. Exactly. And I think, That's why I think it, Purdy will yeah. out I think Purdy will outperform Mahomes in this game. Okay. Appreciate the call. Well, I'm not buying that. Buying Michael what? Jordan has So you're sitting here saying because a guy has won championships, he's going to be lazy on the on a on another championship appearance? Nobody said lazy. Well, what are you what are you saying? You're saying kind of lackluster. Come on, Michael Jordan six and zero. He was a killer. Tom Brady's done it. You mentioned Derek Jeter though. Who is going to be lazy? No. That's what you're. That's what I'm hearing. Kiru, what you're I'm saying. I'm not doing this. I never said lazy. But what are you? What you're what saying? I, oh, he's won. He's going to okay, be a fat the call, cat. The caller just said maybe because Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs have been to four Super Bowls in the last okay. five years and have won two. What is that? It? The Forty okay. ers may be more motivated because they haven't won a Super Bowl uh, yet. I just wow. What? Yeah. Wow. Well, what? That, that I don't makes think, no sense at all. That and, makes and, and, no and you're sense. You're trying to say. Oh, I did. I don't. Went I would never to say it doesn't show. make you any 20 sense. Minutes, Twenty minutes to start oh, the show. Man. You're about, trying to pick a fight no, with me, I'm and not, it's not about me. I would never. No, I don't have to pick a fight. Girl. You say some stuff that I'm like, have you ever played athletics? That's what I don't like. Right. How are you going to sit here into the mic and say because a guy got to the mountaintop, he might be late. Lazy come Sunday. Okay, nobody, and this can be a third say, championship. Please don't say I don't, lazy. I just can't, I can't compute that. Please don't that. say lazy. Well, what? You're trying to run from it. You're That's so, what my ears heard. Guru, you don't think it's possible that somebody who hasn't won a title is more motivated than someone who has won a don't, title. Okay. I don't think that's far-fetched. Okay. I'm not that's talking about bad. the person that hasn't won. I'm talking about the person that won. And okay. your point was that... Patrick Mahomes might basically be a fat cat because he's won two. Well, that, so we'll come you in Sunday just eating now laters before the game and no. might just, you know what, I got two. Okay. Uh, they might want it more. I just, how many I, Super Bowls, I don't get that. How many Super Bowls, I'm not mad. I'm not how many, picking the fight. Yeah, you are. That's how many ridiculous. Super, how many Super Bowls has Nick Bosa gone to? <sighs> two? You tell me, Steiny. Oh, I don't. This I'm, will be a second. Okay, do you think it's possible Bosa's more motivated to win a Super Bowl than Mahomes? Because he's never won it? I think it's equal. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. But don't make a jerk out of somebody who thinks it's possible that Bosa may be more motivated because he's come up short. Is that than what someone I'm doing? Who, yes, Making a jerk that's exa- out of you? No. That's exactly what you, you spend 20 not minutes. Not me, the guy, oh, the no, guy on, I, the, I, on the line. I'm not picking a fight. I yes, just, you are. Like it's, it's, are. It's almost like convention. These are athletes, man. Right. And some, so then let's never talk about motivation. I mean, I'm just saying, like, all I'm saying is, okay, so then the 49ers, fine. You believe the 49ers have no, and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying don't say the other side's wrong if you don't know. You're saying the 49ers have no motivational, uh, they have no possible motivational advantage against the Chiefs. I truly believe that. Because they've never won it and the Chiefs won it last year. This is the Super Bowl. I truly believe that. That's fine.